your complete guide to biological optimization. And today we're going to talk about silent toxicities, EMFs, and how to reduce their effects on your life. And of course, I've got our expert today on EMFs, Katrine Valinsky, one of the testing, uh, the leader of our testing department. So welcome. Oh, thank you, Wade. Um, now, just to give you a quick introduction, remember that we look at the, the human body, everything is made from cells. And like we talk about your spine and how you generate electrical energy. So every electrical current creates, we'll just talk about this, every electrical current creates a magnetic field. This is a principle of physics. It's also a principle of biological organisms like everything from tadpoles to humans. Now what's interesting, over the last you know, 100 or so years, we have introduced a lot of what's called e uh, EMF electromagnetic frequencies and these are generated from things like you know anything from a blender to your television set to your cell phone microwave ovens satellites so think about the amount of EMFs that are now being produced from virtually every piece of electrical equipment in the world and we already talked about how we have this like circadian rhythm that your cell works on and it's been you know this is the product of a long 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 time of evolution but this whole electromagnetic frequency thing is relatively new and the thing is is we can't really avoid it but there are ways to reduce it and to kind of create a situation in your life where you can make sure that you're you're not so affected by it and i know that Katrine, that you've done a lot of research in this area. We're going to talk, you know, I know you do the GDV machine, which we talk about that shows a lot of that stuff that comes in another lesson. But tell us about EMFs and, and how it's affecting this whole cell. Well, electromagnetic frequencies are around all the time. What we are talking about is non-native electromagnetic frequencies or frequencies that are being created by humans, basically. So, so, so there's a difference. What you, what, what's course, a native frequency? You know, the, everything in, like you said, everything that's alive has a magnetic force. Right? So right. everything has electromagnetic frequency of some like sort. Like a tree has electromagnetic <laughs> yes. frequency. Uh, there's, there's natural ones, the same as radiation. Let's say there's natural okay. radiation that's from the sun and from the uh, from the stones and the earth, or there is um, non-native radiation or, or man-made radiation that's you know that people made, like you know like the atomic elements that uh, that came from the bombs and and, right. and nuclear testing. Same with non-native EMFs is something that we had created, especially in the last 20 years. You know we've seen such an increase in uh, usage of personal uh, devices, uh, wireless devices like iPhones, iPads, uh, computers. Uh, we have uh, Wi-Fi everywhere usually, you know, so like schools. a little phone here. So I have a, like my little cell phone here, right? Yeah, your right? cell phone. There we go. And this is creating an electromagnetic wave, right? Yes. It's and this is influencing radiation. my hundred billion cells. It's influencing all of your cells, of course. Wow. Uh, whenever you're holding it, it's influencing direct contact like with your hand or especially when it's on, when you get receiving a phone call or if you're surfing the internet or if you put into your head. That's why you've seen probably studies in the last little while that uh, um, this type of um, electromagnetic frequencies can cause brain tumors, you know, because people are speaking. Or accelerate ones or that are accelerate the ones that are right? existing, you know, if you're wearing it on a certain spot, you would see an increase in uh, you know, maybe a problem in that area or you got headaches because people are spending too much time on the phones. Wow. Uh, so it, it, it's, a, it, it's a legitimate concern and I've actually seen a lot of people nowadays uh, coming up with electrical sensitivity or like all of a sudden they start getting headaches, brain fog, and they just can't figure out what's going on. And that all actually boils down to the fact that all these electromagnetic frequencies are really putting a lot of pressure on them and they're developing inflammation. So it's something right. that they might have had already, but an increase in the electromagnetic exposure just all of a sudden just pushes them over the edge and the inflammation becomes such a problem that they start developing physical reactions to computer or physical reactions to the phone. Or if somebody, for example, had a, a smart meter uh, put on their house, all of a sudden they get headaches or they don't sleep very well. It's actually just from the extra electromagnetic frequency that's been produced on the body and the body is creating a response. So this is like an unseen pollution or like a fog. Absolutely. And now, I understand that there's ways that you can actually measure this in your house, is that right? Yes, you, you can get electromagnetic frequency device uh, to measure and you can see which places in your house maybe you have more of those or not. Uh, the uh, incorrect wiring, maybe old wiring in the house can create uh, those type of electromagnetic fields that are, will be not conducive to your health. 
uh, of course, the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi. Um, so Wi-Fi is bad. Wi-Fi is, is, you know, Wi-Fi is very useful and it's uh, very right. convenient, but you might want to turn it off at night. You know, maybe, right. maybe just get something that automatically shuts it off at night and turns it on at a certain time. It's also kind of a cue to yourself to uh, um, detox your... Um, digital detox. Di digital detox, yeah, exactly. Yeah, digital <laughs> you know, because detox. a lot of people at 12 o'clock at night sitting on their computers or iPads or having the phone by sleeping. the phone by the bed, right? Exactly. Yeah, with that, the alarm clock and then the computer on the TV that, on and all that stuff, exactly. right? Exactly. You, you want to be... Um, your bedroom should be like a sanctuary. You want to be electromagnetic sanctuary. You want to take all the stuff out of your bedroom, if possible, that's creating this field, or unplug at least at night. If you have a TV in your you know, in your bedroom and you don't want to move it, at least unplug it and turn off the socket. What, what if you turn off, if you shut off the power bar, does that work too? Uh, that works too. Okay. Yeah, that, that can so help you, so as if you well. had everything on a power bar, you could just shut off the power bar and shut off everything. Yes, uh, you want to be just unplugging everything you can in your bedroom. Your bedroom, again, like I said, is like, should be a sanctuary. Uh, you want to take your iPhone out of there, you know, get maybe a clock that is not plugged in into the wall, again, so it's not creating electromagnetic frequencies. Check if your bed is next to uh, maybe some of the uh, uh, plugs, plugs. Right, yes, yeah. exactly, that might be creating an issue as well. Uh, there is also devices that can you you can plug into your um, in an electrical plug and to see if it's creating a field or not. And it could be right. bad wiring, like I said earlier. The other very important factor is check your mattress. If your mattress has springs, uh, you're probably going to be getting more electromagnetic frequencies into your body than you should be. So there is lots of wonderful new ways of uh, getting a great mattress. You know, you have lots of options that don't require to have a spring. So I have a lot of friends that um, are in internet marketing or they're finding themselves in front of computers all day long at their office or their job or in their business. Are there ways of, I would be thinking maybe like they got these screens all around, you know, and of like, mm -hmm. are they getting a lot of EMFs? They are. Uh, it's, and it's, it's a huge uh, problem for a lot of people that are spending uh, time in front of a computer. They slowly will be deteriorating and they'll see effects on the mood first. You know, they might be a little bit less um, happy or just have more tiredness or, you know, the eyes are going to start bothering them. And it depends on the person, too. It depends how much Some vitality have, they have and right. how, how, how good their other practices are, you know, their health practices. So if you are spending a lot of time sitting in front of a computer or you know, surrounded by electrical devices, the one thing you want to be doing at least once a day, go outside and spend 20 minutes on, on the sun, if possible, or uh, at least putting your feet on the ground. And you don't want to be doing it on, the, yeah, it's grounding. So you don't want to be doing it on asphalt. You can do it on concrete, but best, you know, on the grass or on a rock, you know, anywhere you can put your feet direct contact to the earth, it will help you ground and maybe reduce some of that electromagnetic um, frequency uh, inflammation. And, and what about those grounding pads that people put yes, on, their, on their computers and there's stuff there's like that? Yes, there's people, yeah, uh, you know, for some people they work, you know, I, I know a lot of people that like those. Um, I'm not a fan personally, <laughs> well, <laughs> but it's just something that hasn't worked right. for me. The other thing that I really like having around my computer is a few um, Himalayan lamps. Oh yeah, the yes. little salt, pink salt, salt ones. Pink, yeah, pink I love salt those. Lamps. Yeah, they they increase actually negative emission, negative electron emissions into the air, and they kind of help mediate some of this. Uh, if you're using laptop, you might be wanting to look into uh, a shield that will protect. Right. I got yeah, one of those. Yes, you got one of those. Exactly, it will protect you from you know having that electromagnetic frequency going into your legs and to your body. Uh, for people who use a lot of cell phones, uh, especially uh, the uh, Androids and iPhones, that are the smartphones that are actually have high electromagnetic frequency emissions. Uh, you want to be not putting it next to your head, that's number one. If you're taking a call, maybe put it in front of you, put it on a speakerphone, or get a, uh, um, a set of, uh, the headset that has an air tube that will prevent some of the electromagnetic frequencies going into your head, in basically, your head, right. <laughs> into your brain. And then, and then what about these pendants? Like, I, I wear my pendant yes. all the time, right? Uh, so the, so see there's these different, that there's different pendants that are, you know, nowadays available. Lots of people are trying to remediate this problem and kind of get the electromagnetic like, frequency of the body back in check and get a little bit more coherency between the cells and communication. So weight is, for example, very <coughs> Yeah, I feel, I feel it if I don't. I'm thinking about all this frequency that's making me cough, but I notice if I don't wear this. Yes, absolutely. I feel a little more scrambled, and I, I, I have more trouble with memory 
things like that? Well, the one that Wade is wearing is uh, kind of an informational piece, so it helps coherency between the cells. So the electromagnetic yeah, frequencies that's, that's that in the body and communication is just a little bit more efficient, and the body is capable to protect itself from uh, you know onslaught of some of the uh, inflammation that's coming from all of this electromagnetic fields. Wow, and so long-term uh, exposure to EMF, I guess it, we're, we're just learning more and more about this, and it, it, it's an ongoing field of legitimate science yes. now it's starting to become it was kind of like woo woo and now it's starting to become legitimate yes a, a lot of problems we see nowadays uh with chronic fatigue and you know like some kind of unexplainable uh, energy problems with people exhaustion is actually directed directly related to electromagnetic frequencies and the, uh, our exposure to them because it's again increasing inflammation in the body and all the system and whenever wherever you are weaker whatever system is weaker it kind of will go right. after you know make that worse faster right right uh it will also change how you structure the water inside of your cell and right. that's a huge aspect uh, of how we um, again get nutrition in and out of the cell and toxins being removed it will also change how we um, how we fold our proteins and make the DNA so there's a lot of very intricate uh, on the quantum level biology things that are going on when we expose electromagnetic frequencies and we hopefully will see more and more studies into this on a deeper level so we can understand better how to remediate. But for right now, at least be aware that's the first step because a lot of people just not aware that that's something that could be causing their headache. And second, doing you know a few steps forward, at least getting your you know the sleep sanctuary right. where sleep you can sanctuary. at least rest. Grounding, grounding, you know, spending every day some there. time on the sun too. That will yep. help you get your liver right. And I, I know we talked about this another lesson using the blue light blockers at night and blue stuff light. like that, so you mm -hmm. don't get too wound up and spun out from EMFs. Yeah, there is uh, shoes, grounding shoes. You know, yeah, but, yeah, that's another thing because we are walking so much. Uh, you know, you know, in shoes that have rubber soles that don't don't connect us to the earth uh, electromagnetic field so something that's been available nowadays you can even google it on amazon's grounding shoes you can wear those so those can be helpful well that's great so um boy we certainly learned a lot on emfs today uh, you know again they are real and you can't even though you can't maybe see them you can measure them with a variety of devices we're going to be talking a lot more about this topic because there's two aspects. There's one, becoming aware of toxicity. One of the things that we won't, don't want to do is start scaring people or freaking you out and saying, oh my God, you know, it's all terrible. No, the whole idea of the, the Bioptimizers program is to increase your capacity to handle the world we live in as opposed to like moving off into the hills and getting sandbags and all that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that. I do love all these electric, electronic devices. I think they're very valuable. So we're not here to condemn them. It's just good to be aware. I want to thank Katrine for being thank here. You. And I want to thank you for coming this far on the program. I mean, congratulations. We're at Lesson 54. It's amazing. I, I hope you've learned a lot. We've got uh, still a ton more left. Um, keep applying those principles. Stick with the program. And you're going to produce an incredible amount of results. And of course, if you have any questions, go to the Bioptimizers website. And we'll see you on the next lesson.